leadership and the media people here. The Congress of South African Trade Union COSATU CEC statement, the 31st of August. Good morning, colleague from the media. Thank you for coming to this this morning. Before we commence, we would like to observe a moment of silence for those who tragically passed away or were injured in the fire today in the in a building in Johannesburg. We wish those affected a speedy recovery and all the strength during this painful time. The law enforcement and the city must take the necessary action to hold any person who transgressed the, the law accountable and to prevent such tragedies from reoccurring. The Congress of African Trade Union, COSADU, held its ordinary central executive committee from the 28th to the 29th of August 2023. The CEC is an opportunity for the Federation and affiliates to report on the work done to defend members and advance the interests of workers to reflect on the many socio-economic challenges facing the nation and develop a proposal on how they can be resolved. The CEC took place whilst the working class is under siege on many fronts. Whilst we have seen some progress on the unemployment front, it remains a ticking point <coughs> ticking time bomb when four out of ten South Africans and six out of ten youth cannot find work. Despite government efforts since 1994, we remain the world's most unequal nation. We even see poverty levels rising as workers. Wages are eroded by a spike in, in inflation. Massive hikes to the rate, to the repo rate, and employers are reneging on wage agreement. The public and municipal services that the working class depends on have been battered by the cost of state capture and corruption. Key state-owned enterprise, in particular ESCOM, Transnet, Praza, the post office remain embedded and pose a threat to the millions of workers, jobs, and livelihood. The CEC re received reports on worrying development in the labor market and a, and a rising tendency of employers to undermine collective bargaining, abandon the signed wage agreement, and impose wage freeze on workers who are already dr drowning in, in debt and not able to provide for their families. We are up, up, upheld by the state of local government where the six municipality roundly failed to pay their staff and some even defrauding statutory deduction, e.g. pension and medical aid funds. Chuali municipality refused to honor a two-year wage agreement, um, agreement and has purged more than 100 staff who dared to express their grievances. Newcastle and Inno Kijima municipalities have now indicated their intent to follow suit. The Federation with affiliates, with our affiliates, SAMU, are engaging with the Department of Cooperative Governance and South African Local Government Association to resolve this crisis. If it continues, it threats it tre threatens labor market stability across local government when communities are desperately for access to basic basic services.